Today's games mark the final action of this week's KBO series. Yesterday, we saw every home team take home the victory, including the Samsung Lions, who are suddenly the KBO's hottest team after knocking off the league-leading NC Dinos for their fourth straight victory. Two days ago, four of the five home teams won, so tonight the Wyverns, Heroes, and Bears look for the series sweep in their home fanless ballparks. Despite the two straight losses, the Dinos are again favored tonight according to FanDuel Sportsbook. Also note that four of the five games have a total set at 8.5, which makes a lot of sense considering this is the final game of a hefty week of KBO action. We're first going to take a look at the Lotte giants Dusan bears game. Two Americans are on the bump with Dan Straley and Chris Flexen taking the ball. Straley has a slight edge in terms of ERA and recent performances, but Flexen faces a Lotte offense that's near the bottom in just every offensive category. This is compared to Straley, who has to fare Dusan's Bears offense that's still batting 300 this year in addition to scoring the most runs through 22 games. Despite the Bears' offense just scoring four runs a game this week, they're due for an offensive outburst while they continue to find a way to win. As in those low-scoring games this past five days, they're 4-1. and one. I'm looking at the Bears on the money line and the over 8.5 runs. Next, I'm looking at the Hanwha Eagles and the SK Wyverns game. These teams have a 13 shared wins between them, which is reflective of just how poor their offenses are. They both rank 9th and 10th in basically every offensive category from batting average to runs scored. So for that reason, I'm taking the under 8.5. The Eagles have Chad Bell making his second 2020 KBO start. And if it's anything like the first, the Eagles are in a good position to compete with the best of the KBO, let alone the lowly SK Wyverns. I'm also banking on Bell and taking the Eagles on the money line. For all you DFS players, Preston Tucker is the one guy you need to make sure you get into your lineup. Tucker has been cold his last two games, but there's no way he goes hitless in this series against the Twins that have allowed six runs per game in this three-game series so far. Tucker is also one of the best hitters in the KBO and has a 440 batting average with runners in scoring position, so he's in a good position for RBIs. I like him to make sure he's in your daily fantasy lineup. As for players, we saw William Cuevas of the KT Wiz allow five runs on eight hits, including two home runs, on his way to his shortest outing of the year in the 14-3 loss to the Kiwoom Heroes. David Buchanan of the Samsung Lions is beginning to look like an ace as he surrendered just one run on three hits and two walks over seven innings on Saturday against the NC Dinos. He also racked up three strikeouts, do note that as well. Sharing the bump with Buchanan in that game was Dinos righty Mike Wright. Wright allowed three runs on seven hits and two walks while striking out four over six frames, taking his first loss of the season. For more KBO coverage and the best fantasy sports news, check out rotowire.com and follow us on Twitter at RotowireKBO.